Well, also on their plate, the Secret Service, along with the FBI, are looking into reports that someone hacked into the personal emails of CIA Director John Brennan and Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson. The hacker bragged about it on Twitter and posted some of the stolen information online. Jeff Begay's has more details, as well as a possible motive. The person tweeting under the now disabled Twitter handle CWA followed through on threats to release sensitive information on Monday. You know we don't lie. What you have all been waiting for, sorry for the delay. Along with that statement came an attachment with the names, social security numbers, and phone numbers of about 20 people said to be affiliated with the head of the CIA. CBS contacted some of the people whose names were on the list, and there is a common thread. Many work for President Obama's transition team following the 2008 campaign. The unidentified hacker, who claims to be a high school student, said the information came from the private AOL email account of CIA Director John Brennan. That same person also claimed to have hacked into the private Comcast email account of Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson. In a statement, the CIA would only say that it has referred the matter to the appropriate authorities. On Twitter, the hacker appeared to be taunting officials and others in government before the account was suspended. With tweets like this one, anyone know who we should target next? While also expressing a political motive for his criminal act. We are not doing this for personal satisfaction. We are doing this because innocent people in Palestine are being killed daily. While it is impossible to confirm his identity, the person who says he's behind the attack says he's working with a group of people, all of whom live in the U.S. and have not yet been contacted by investigators. But law enforcement sources say this is a criminal investigation and they are working to track the suspect or suspects down. Anne-Marie, Elaine? So, Jeff, what is the latest from investigators then? Well, they're still trying to find out who this person is or who the group is or who's in that group. But the problem is they're not releasing an awful lot of information because they are concerned that this is a person or persons who are feeding off of the publicity and they are taunting government officials. So uh, the people we're talking to right now are reluctant to release information for that reason. Jeff, are they concerned that there was any classified information that was leaked during this hack? Well, there is always that concern, but in this case, there doesn't appear to be anything right now to suggest that any government classified information was released. However, sensitive information was included in the private email account of the CIA director because there was an application in there for uh, secret clearance, top secret clearance. That was an F. SF-86 application. Uh, a lot of the information is also several years old, but there, there are indications that some of the information, at least in the CIA director's AOL email account, and again, this was a private email account, some of it was sensitive. All right, Jeff Gates, thank you very much.